the residential shelters that are that are being constructed kind of went through the same process as our concerns with community shelters and that is just because you call it one is it really one uh, the FEMA has a document out which is the 320 document which is for residential shelters and they even have some examples in there of shelters that somebody can build themselves but it's also you know an outline of just like the 361 is for community shelters it's an outline to say this is what you need to do for residential shelters. The ICC 500 also deals with residential shelters in the same manner. The National Storm Shelter Association that I talked about earlier that grew, that uh, combined with the International Code Council to do the joint venture on the ICC 500 that group has been around for quite a while and they have their own system of engineering and basically putting a good housekeeping seal on a shelter and it's got to go through this process it has to be engineered and it's got to have a third party review and it has to be tested you go through all these processes before the NSSA will put their seal on it and say, this is really a good shelter. Uh, that, is, that is probably the best way that I know of. Now there's other shelters that I have no doubt that are out there that people are, are constructing, uh, installing, that are good shelters that don't belong to the NSSA. But at that point it is really a buyer beware. And that's what's really difficult is the buyers a lot of time don't have that knowledge and they listen to a sales pitch and before you know it they may have purchased a shelter that may not be so good so the, I would encourage a lot of you know there are resident or people that own residents out there that are looking to buy a shelter at least look through the NSSA to see what is out there you know, and then maybe compare shop that way. That, but the but the NSSA really is a, is an organization that really was born out of just because you call it one doesn't mean it is one. And they wanted to say, in a residential shelter, this really is a shelter. The NSSA website lists all the 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 professional members, the manufacturers. Uh, and the the group that creates you know do these shelters um, it is a wonderful website there's a lot of information there it's not like one or two there's a whole list of them and I think that list grows all every day um, so that that is a great resource to go to I would definitely start there uh, there are resources of people to talk to but you can almost rest assured that if you talk to one of those people that, that are a member of the NSSA and they're getting seals put on their shelters, that it is going to be a good one.